When I first met uh, Brett Martin, and our executive director, uh, we sat down in a meeting and he came up with this idea and I just thought it was a fantastic idea and didn't realize the significance of it until we did our first shoot with the first uh, military family and the wife of, uh, of a Marine said to us when she left that, uh, that they didn't think that anyone cared in this country. And I, I just realized how significant the whole project was from then on out. Well, after, after the Marine wife said that statement to us, uh, there were a lot of teary eyes in the room uh, with uh, the whole Hearts Apart team. I was the only photographer for about four months on this project, and then we realized how um, the, huge this project was going to go, especially after the Fox interview, and uh, all of a sudden it went worldwide. We now have over 175 of our nation's finest photographers including two Pulitzer Prize winning photographers. So, you know, it's just a phenomenal response uh, all over the country. Um, there are a lot of photographers around the United States that want to be part of heartsapart.org uh, and the photography team. And they have to be very professional about this because it's very important to those families. So if they want to do this, they can just go onto our website and there's a category for that and enter that information and someone will get back to them uh, very quickly. Um, there's, there's not a lot of room for error on these, t taking these kind of photographs because it's very important to these families. Number one, they cannot afford it, uh, usually, and uh, they're about ready to be deployed. They're very stressed out. This becomes something very, very important to them right before that serviceman or that servicewoman leaves or about to be deployed. We We're setting a very high standard for the quality of photographs because we cannot have some up here and then some down there. Uh, it's, it's very important to these families and it's also it's very important to our team to we, we're consistent in the type of p photographs that uh, that we're going to shoot. Even after the photographs are taken there are other stories involved in these families. A lot of them become very good friends with us. There's just many stories about other things that happen in people's lives. Uh, one, one family had a terrible car accident. They did, almost didn't live the day after Christmas and they went to the emergency room and found out that that she was pregnant. So, I mean, we, we keep hearing stories about their lives. So their lives enter our lives even way after the photographs are taken. I, th I think um, becoming friends with a lot of the military families, I see all the personal struggles that they go through that a lot of Americans don't see. Whether it's financial or emotional or a lot of other reasons. Um, you see that they really have a tough time. They struggle because they have families that they have to take care of back here while they're being deployed. And uh, I get emails every day about how stressful it is with, it, with them. And, and, I, and I get positive emails too about how good a day might have been or how, how good a day might not have been. It's so hard to talk about it. You know why? Because we have these other lives and all of a sudden we end up right in the middle of their life. And we totally forget about ours. And it, it, it takes days to sort of get back to your own life. A lot of the wives have told me, especially after they've been deployed, how important these photographs were for that family while he was away or while she was away. And how much it meant to them. A lot of these kids, cannot, as I mentioned before, they cannot afford this. And they said, this is the first time we've had a real photograph, a great photograph taken of our, of our family. And it's very important to them. Um, I, I think that, it, that we have such a high standard that they, see, they do see the difference. Well, I think the other important part of the photographs is a lot of times um, these kids just have photographs that might have been taken by less experienced photographers, let's say. And the children, the children might say, well, that's not daddy, but they'll look at our photographs and, they, and, and you can see the character and the spirit of that service man or that service woman in those photographs and those children go, that's my daddy or that's my mommy. And, and I think that's important too. They email me all the time and they email the other team, part of the team and they, they say thank you almost every day. And, and even way after you take the photographs and they receive the photographs. Um, I think that they're the, some of the most appreciative kids that we have in this country. If you can help them a little bit to keep their family together, I think that's important too. I've had one wife talk to me about how important this card was, that it was a thread from, uh, from her husband back to her 
because it was always in his pocket and he could always pull it out and it was constantly there about what he was fighting for. We have, um, right now the, we have it on vinyl and we might change that, but it's just so it's pliable, it can be put in the pocket, uh, it's weatherproof, um, you, you can't rip it. Uh, we asked a airborne special forces guy, he thought it was fantastic because when he puts it in the pocket it's not going to you could curl it up and it's going to come right back. It'll, it'll survive sand and rain. This week we've gotten photographs from um, taken of, of the actual uh, card in Iraq and Afghanistan and I, I, I just hope that it gives them that little extra uh, survival part that they need to, to survive really stressed out they're about ready to be deployed and we have a whole team here to you know to help them if they have, the children need babysitting or whether we need to go get food for the children or you know they want water or anything that they need we try to make their uh, the shoot as comfortable as possible and we have a very comfortable studio and and um, I think that they all feel very welcome in fact a lot of the surveys that come back mention how much that they felt welcomed and, and how much we cared for them. And they've said just over, just glowing comments about our team and, and about how they felt and how important the photographs were to them uh, and that they would always remember. The project is so important that um, our military uh, men, servicemen and women uh, will always be deployed. So this project will never end. It will survive me. It will survive all of us.